Hello and welcome to our simulation video for close couple tees. We've used copper pipe 22mm and 28mm for this video and it's going to show you how the flow um, moves around this particular setup. So we've got 20 kilowatts coming from the boiler and we need a demand equal to that for the underflow heating system but the delta T requirement is different which of course would mean the flow rates are different for each particular circuit. But we do have hydraulic separation here. Kimbo will go into a lot more detail on this during his course. The colors here represent the temperature of the water. So we have a higher flow temperature from the boiler and a lower flow temperature coming back from the end of the heating circuit. Now in the middle, um, the CCT is going to blend into the flow from the boiler and that's what we've got this rainbow color there. What we're highlighting here, areas of low pressure are particular areas where cavitation can occur in these localized regions. So this image shows us the velocity of the water in this closed couple T. Um, red shows us a high concentration of velocity, um, meaning the speed of the water, and the blue areas show us the, a low velocity, all in meters per second. And um, we want to discourage this because clearly anything above 1.5 meters per second is going to create noise in the system. Um, anything uh, below 0 0.5 meters per second is going to encourage um, dirt to settle. But these are very localized regions, so it shouldn't cause too much of an issue in this particular case. So colors from light blue to yellow uh, is what we really want to aim for from the flow and return from the boiler and also the flow and return from the end floor heating system which we've got of course here so this is an acceptable velocity for um, this particular system we've got a region of 0.8 velocity from the flow and return of the boiler and yellow slightly high velocity uh, in the region of 1.3 to and from the underfloor heating system.